A while ago, I got a massive box of Lego and I'm still yet to look through it, see exactly what we've got in this box. Now, before we start, I would like to say I don't think there's any Lego Star Wars sets. So if you clicked on this video hoping to see a really expensive and rare Lego Star Wars minifigure, I don't think you'll find it in this. But make sure before you go, you do drop a like anyway just to help out the channel and subscribe because I will be revisiting a few of my old Lego Star Wars figures in the near future. But I think the only thing we can do is just crack straight into this box and see what we've got. You may notice that there are a few loose Lego bricks on this. There's probably going to be a load of brick noises. I'm not quite sure what the mic picked up. So I do apologize for any of the nasty noises, but I'm sure most of it's actually going to be quite pleasant. The first item we have is 7287 Police. I don't know if that's a reference to the set number, but I will try and search these up and put their sets somewhere on screen probably up to the top right so i'll keep myself over here and out of the way of that but we've got a massive police boat now these are actually my brother's lego so i'm hoping to find a load of good ninjago bits at the bottom but i think this is a solid start and it looks like it actually floats so if we ever need a big blue boat for anything i'm happy to have one i think i have one of these smaller white ones from an old city set but there is a few non-Lego bits. Let's get them out of the way. This looks to be an unbranded. Yeah, we're not going to read out that brand. FA Cup. So if all the pieces are in here, that would be quite interesting to build. West Ham might get their hands on it sometime soon. And I believe that is the same with this box. Now, I have already looked in this box inside the bigger blue box. It's some boxception going on here. And there are a few of my old figures in here. These are just general bits, so I'd save them for the end because I'm sure you all would rather want to see the Lego. Now, there is this brick heads base. It looks a bit interesting. It's Lego branded, even the toll on the front that has the head and number one. I'm used to seeing brick head bases, well, that I'm used to seeing the six by six with the brick heads face on. Now, this does have an upside down brick heads face in the tolls and the modified plate. But it's on a 4x6, so I'll have to have a look at what that's on. And once again, you probably already have seen it on screen. Getting into the Ninjago bits. This bag has a few minifigures inside, so I think we'll move the box aside and take a look at these figures. I can't believe that I wasn't recording that. I've just opened this bag and the Lego's gone everywhere. So I'm going to need a second to clear this up and then I'll line up the minifigures to take a look. I've got my little air purifier working overtime here because the dust coming off these, these sets haven't been touched probably not far off since they were built, if I'm being honest. But we do have six Ninjago minifigures up here. I'll be honest, I recognize the ones on the right. I think the Clara Burgundy one, the dark red one, is Kai's sister and then the blue one is Jay. I always get confused with the names of the ninjas so I am sorry if I've got them mixed up and then the other way around or that but we also have these really cool looking figures on the left. I believe these are all from a old Ninjago temple. Well I'm not sure it still holds up to the name temple given the new sets. We've got some really cool new Ninjago temples recently that just put that one to shame but there's a few other cool pieces first up i said there was no star wars but we actually have what looks like one of the wing tips from the 2013 lego star wars x-wing so i might have to see if my brother's still got the rest of his lego to reconstruct that because that would be a pretty cool build especially if they're coming out with a brand new x-wing so i'm going to keep this to hand and see if I can get the rest of the parts. There's also this little speeder thing. I'm not quite sure what it is really, but it looks like someone can sit in there. And there are a few other really cool parts. So we have this printed disc on the left, which looks like some sort of rotating blades. We also have this really cool sword that I haven't seen before with the green ninja's face on it. But the really interesting piece are these binoculars on the helmet. I like the helmet molds anyway. These are really cool helmets and it's very stiff where it's just been sat in a box all these years. But I like the little eye lens things that are on it as well. I'm not sure if this is Ninjago. This might be part of some other theme, I'm sure. You can all correct me on who these are in the comments and let me know if these do have names. I assume they do. Ninjago's got quite a bit of lore and backstory. And then we also have 
this key ring over here, which doesn't function. I'm not quite sure what this button is meant to do, but it doesn't do anything. It looks pretty cool. And it also comes with weapons. Now, I know my dad has a Darth Vader light key ring. I don't think we got weapons in Star Wars. It might have a lightsaber. I can't exactly say that I paid too much attention. I don't remember getting many weapons in Star Wars. So it's very interesting that the ninjas have been given their weapons, or at least this one has. And it does look pretty cool. You've even got the clip on the back. I wonder if you can unclip the weapons from the hands and clip them to the back. It doesn't seem like they are removable. And knowing Lego, they've probably glued them down for the key rings. There are also a few different vehicles in the box. I think that's a Lego City one. Yellow, it doesn't really look like something from Ninjago, but this big blue one does. And it's got some massive wheels on it with what look like the hat pieces. So I wonder if the rest of the pieces are in the box or if perhaps a few of these are jotted around somewhere else. I have to look, see if I can build all of these. Would you be interested in Ninjago reviews? I know it's a mostly Star Wars fan base and I don't really see many people making it this way through the video. Even if they do like Ninjago, it's a bit of a different video. Let me know down in the comments. If you'd like to see me rebuild these, we also have this bike over here, but I think the coolest one, and I don't know if this is an actual set, is this bike down here. It looks like it's got these giant wings. They are slightly poseable, so that's an interesting feature. And they've got these giant engines on the back as well. So I don't know if it's a plane, if it's a bike, if it's probably a boat. And these are propellers that can be dropped into water. I really don't know what this is, but this looks quite cool. So I'm going to try and build these. This is definitely some sort of city crane. I really don't see where this would fit into Ninjago. Sorry for all the dust falling off these. I'm gonna to need to give my desk a deep clean after this, but let's take a look at what else is in the box. Now, there are a few other things in the box. I'm not quite sure how much of this is just parts for those pieces. And we've got, it's black and gold. I'm gonna assume this is Cole, who is the rock ninja. Again, apologies if I am offending all you Ninjago fans. But that looks like the base to a really cool bike. We also had this, which I'm not quite sure if this is the top to the other bike. It looks like some sort of rock spider with the fangs at the front. And this looks like a really big projectile that can just be yeeted out the front of that snake. Or perhaps that's what holds the projectile and that is what launches it. I really have no idea. So I'm gonna have fun researching these and whacking them on screen afterwards. And this is very interesting. We've got a Captain America Brickheads. I wonder if this is for the base because I know my brother a while back gave me an Iron Man Brickheads. Actually very, very similar to the new one coming out. Different colours, but they've pretty much kept the design the same. And I wonder if he had the Captain America and the Iron Man Brickheads. So that base might belong to one of them again. I'll research it and I'll probably do a little update before I wrap up the video. We have this which probably a few more parts i think the rest of this is mostly going to be parts i think this might be just a bunch of orange bricks it's nice to get orange bricks i don't know if this is a particular set i feel like this dish on the back might belong to something but again a few more pieces and i think the rest of it is it looks like some unbranded by the looks it looks like an aircraft carrier in here we've got parts for a ship we've then got a load of space on top and i think that is everything so i'm going to hunt through all these little parts and see if i can find the rest of captain america and i'll let you know if i manage to build him i completely forgot about this box here so let's have a look at this box first because i know there's a few different non-branded brick advents in here but there's also these green creatures. I have no idea what these are from. I have to do a Google image search and hopefully I can find some more information for you. But there's a few of these. I remember playing with these when I was young. We also had some like knockoff Lego space toothbrushes. So I've got one of the figures from that. That would have been my brother's. And we also had a Pirates of the Caribbean brick set as well. And they were really, really cool. The rest, as I said, seems to be parts from an advent and actually there's another brick separator in here to add to my collection and right at the bottom of the blue box we actually had a road plate i think this actually 
was near the top and then I started pulling things out and it just sunk down. But this is one of the older Lego plates. We've got the new actual plates. This is a road base plate and I think it's probably about the same width. Eight studs for the road but you get this tile in the middle to plate with some two by four white plates rather than using the new ones that Lego have now provided with their road plates and you just dot them up. It's really cool to have something like this. It's a 32 by 32 base plate. Perhaps this could be useful for a future mock or I could display it on my shelf with some sort of tank in the middle. That would be really, really cool. But for now, this is going to be cleaned up and added to my pile. I actually have a lot of cleaning to do because you may remember a video, I don't know when this was. It might have been last year or early this year where I removed the stickers from pieces that I wasn't using. And not only do I have a big tote bag, yes, Harry Potter tote bag, it's actually quite heavy for what's in there. I also have a little plastic bag and there's actually a drawer full of pieces that have had stickers removed or some stickers still need to be removed. And then I need to scrub them down because many of these have the older stickers, which leave a very nasty stickiness after you've removed the stickers. So I'm gonna be scrubbing these down after the video and trying to build Captain America. I'm very interested to see the other pieces used for this brickhead. So the box, is now completely empty and I've got all the non-Lego bits. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with them bits, but all the Lego is out. There was a total of this many pieces in there, hopefully enough to go back and restore some of the other Ninjago sets before I'll probably end up breaking them apart too. But I think we have all the pieces here needed for Captain America. Now the funny thing with the brick heads is I do actually have two of these plates with one. I don't know if that means there's just one brick heads. One of them is actually meant for Iron Man. So I'll give Iron Man his rightful base. And I'm not quite sure if it's telling me that there's only one brick heads there. I mean, I'm pretty sure we can see it or if this was part of a wave and this was wave one, perhaps they planned on doing a few more Marvel brick heads already. I'm not quite sure. And if you do know, I would appreciate it if you did leave the answer down in the comments. But I think these brick heads are quite good for how early on they are. I don't think brick heads have come that far since these were out and they hold up to all the other brick heads released today. So this is quite a nice find. We can't forget to put Captain America's brain just inside his head there, which is something that has been along from the start. And now we have a pretty good looking Captain America brick heads and few exclusive pieces. I can see the two by four on top and the two bricks, similar to Iron Man. I think there were three printed pieces. So Iron Man's got the slope on top printed, the one by four on his chest and also a one by two. I think they sacrificed the printing on the one by two on the new one that's coming out for some printing on the one by four. It sort of makes sense for the mark. I mean, they're not exactly supplying needed details like the other two pieces. So I can see why Lego are flip-flopping between them, but these are going to look great together on the shelf. They'll go behind Cody and Rex because Iron Man, Captain America, Cody, Rex, they are sort of like brothers in their own franchises. And I think we're going to have to start making some room on the Brickhead's shelf. And by that, I mean, I'll probably just take down one of my customs. But we have a total of two, four, six, eight, ten... 12 oh no we can definitely fit one more behind there but because we have the giant valentine's day one we're actually running out of space on our brick heads display i might move them up there i've just seen how dusty this camera is perhaps unboxing a box of lego that hasn't been touched for years in a room with a lot of lego displayed was not a good idea but i am going to be dusting it anyway so don't worry too much down in the comments but what i could do is buy another unit up here move my dioramas and then try and align them along the top. But that is something that will be done in the future. I'm quite happy with all the pieces that we got here. A few new Ninjago characters, which hopefully we get a snake in Star Wars soon because this head would be the perfect piece. But I hope you did enjoy the video. Bit different one today. And I'm happy that I finally got this out of the way. This box is going to go. There is so much dust in this. But I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. And that is all for me today. May the bricks be with you always.